everyone, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodělky and once again we are meeting together for uh, another project. In the last video I showed you how to knit this woven pattern with the, using a uh, slip stitch and in today's video I will show you how to put this poncho together and how to uh, basically crochet around the neck and around the bottom of the poncho. I have attached already two sides together, okay, uh, and now what we need to do is attach two more sides. So let me go and show you how it looks on the other side. See right here, okay, I could go and bring it also up. And I crocheted it. Uh, my mom um, always crocheted uh, knits together and it, it looks beautiful although it's kind of chunky but you can also sew it if you want to and I will show you how I did it how I crocheted it together so now we will go and attach the other one uh, this side this side to uh, over here to this side and this is how I will do it. So I have the uh, uh, the one panel going standing up and the other one is laying down. So I will go and fold the one that is on my left, on my right hand side, not left, on my right hand side. Uh, and I will fold it over here. Okay. And then I am going to fold the tall one to touch the other one and I will start crocheting along this edge and as you see this and this V here this is going to be our opening and I already measured this is this is four inches and therefore on the other side is four inches so it's all this is 8 inches and this is 8 inches so the opening is going to be actually um, 16 inches so you need to set yourself up uh, so you can work um, well with one stretchy side and one not so stretchy side okay um, also this side is a stitch side and this side is row side so it's going to be a little tricky when you're sewing it so you must make sure that you do not stretch this too much so basically you you need to kind of like push it uh, more together here and little just tiny bit and stretch it in here okay or just stretch it a little bit more here without doing anything to this side whichever works for you all right but with crochet it's going to be different so what i will do now is work with a hook and this one is size e or 3.5 millimeter hook all right because i need to um go through this each of these uh, bind bound off uh, stitches and i will be taking both of them just like this okay and first of all what i will do is grab one of these end stitches because we don't want to have a gap in there so it's actually kind of still part of cast on stitch all right so we will pull it through both but they will be kind of flushed all right they're not gonna be one a uh, little further out than the other and when i was doing this side this first side what I was doing is that, let me show you first, over here these are rows and all the rows I had, uh, I was slipping the stitches, okay, I was not knitting the last stitch. So it's like each of these loops is 
two rows and this is two rows and this one is two rows all right so what I will do is that I will make um, two stitches two stitches from this one I will make into two of these so it's going to be two stitches versus four rows uh, but then one stitch is going to be always in between okay in between and then then I will reuse that one stitch that I used for in between so let me go and demonstrate because I think it's um, what I'm trying to say is a little too complicated and this is our next stitch and we will make it into this this one stitch this first stitch okay and let's do this one more time we will take this one stitch and do into the next stitch the the uh, row stitch which is two rows okay and we will go and make another one now when you're mo working with a smaller hook make sure that you don't make it too tight okay just make it um, be evenly spread around the edge don't make it too loose and don't make it too tight so basically manipulate these these loops manipulate by either pulling it up a little bit or tightening it up a little bit okay so we did two stitches and now this is our third stitch and like I said the third stitch is going to go in between the uh, the next uh, the last stitch and the next stitch and this is how I did it so this was my last stitch that I worked with all right and now we need to make it with also with the next stitch but in between right here right there so this is what I do here I pick up this uh, from the last stitch and from the new stitch okay not the back not the back loops just the front loops and I make my third stitch that way all right and I make sure that this is not too tight and not too loose okay so now we need to reuse this next stitch with our next st uh, the this stitch okay so this you see this is kind of hard to get in that's why I'm using smaller hook than I should and I go into the one that I went in between the last in between stitch and I now this stitch is really long so I will tighten it up a little bit but not too much perfect and now we will make a new stitch a new and we're not gonna go in that one and we're not gonna go in between we're gonna go into the next stitch and now we will go in between stitches go and work in between with these two front ones and another stitch this is our new stitch always you have to kind of move it so you can uh, let me go and show you again you need to roll the edge this way so you can see both loops over here okay so you see don't be afraid to move your wrists and we went in between I look here in between in between so we need to go into this new one and one more new one not here not in between but right here into the new one okay and I check if it's not too tight and it doesn't look too tight it looks okay 
so I went into twice into new ones and now we need to go into stitch in between so next stitch goes into in between stitches and now we go with two stitches into new stitches so the one that we used before and one that we did not go in yet and the next one right here I hope you understand what I am trying to uh, show you so this way what is happening so I went in between right now so what is and this is a little bit too okay perfect you see make those stitches same not too tight and not too loose so what is happening with this is that I'm trying that I am making this little bed closer together so it fits perfectly and straight without being gathered okay so we went uh, let me see what I did in here in between okay so now we need to do a stitch in a new one and another new one new one no in between and now we will go into a stitch in between this one and this one you can finish this all on your own and I'm here at the corner right here okay uh, so let me go and show you how I'm finishing it up and actually I will start immediately uh, crocheting single crochet stitch uh, around so I will make one last stitch this is that one corner stitch and I'll go into in between and we will go like this let me see how it looks it looks really good uh, and let me show you how it looks over here you see it does not pull at all all right it doesn't really look like it's pulling anywhere so it's going to lay really nicely and now we need to crochet um, all around so, and now actually I need to switch to a bigger hook the appropriate hook for this um, for going around I don't need a small hook anymore uh, I just need it to get into the tighter stitch right there do need to crochet around this edge which is kind of very stretchy and I think it would be falling off the baby's uh, shoulders uh, yet we still have to maintain uh, uh, certain lengths length around here I think the best way um, is to go and knit uh, knit not knit crochet now we're crocheting uh, into every in between like this okay we will grab one and one and then one and one uh, let me show it to you over here S because this is lighter so you might see it better so we will go in between these two always right and then the next stitch in between so you know so it's not so blah, you know like that so anyway um, and I instead of small hook I am using a G hook for uh, millimeters so I will start actually here with this one stitch first no 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 first we need to do a single crochet okay and now we will start right here and in this okay in the stitch are we gonna go yes okay like this start right there grab like two of them in here right where you kind of um, connected these two sides and make a single crochet stitch 
and now like I said always into those first two first stitch second stitch just those two loops the front ones not the back ones and make a single crochet stitch and then another one here and here and make a single crochet stitch if you don't know how to uh, crochet uh, you can um, cast on and make a knitted edge if you want all right so you would go and let me go and show you do I have any needle here oh yeah I have I have a needle here let me see let me show you so if you would be let me pull this up if you would be knitting the edge then you would have to cast on just like I am casting just like I'm doing the single crochet stitch so you would go and in between these two and you would pull the yarn through and then you would go and make another one and pull the yarn through okay and this is how you would cast on um, edge and then you could knit around all right so that's just my uh, little advice but I am crocheting single crochet stitch around so I will continue here and another stitch and let me see and another one and another one and all around all around and I'm not making it too too tight okay this one is a little bit too loose so let me make it a little tighter make them as um, even as possible don't make them tight because then you would not be able to pull it over the baby's head but make those stitches equal here I am coming to the end um, of my row so let's do it let's continue over here and oops this this stitch is a little bit too long tighten it up a little bit somewhere in here one more stitch and connect it into a circle into that um, chain stitch and I decided to make one more row because I will be doing two rows over here it's curling up and I don't want it to curl up uh, so I will do two rows over here and also I will block it later on a little bit as well and let's do another row of single crochet stitches so chain one and then single crochet stitch into every single crochet stitch from previous row and again make those uh, make those uh, stitches not too tight and not too loose make them even see I am making single crochet stitch into every single crochet stitch I am finished with my neck and uh, I kind of like it looks pretty nice and it looks like it's gonna be sitting around the children's uh, uh, shoulders pretty good and it also will go over the head uh, it, it's, uh, I measured and it's 16 inches all around and but it can still stretch all right so it's going to be pretty good uh, so now we are going to start working on uh, the bottom okay and I want to start um, I want to start on this uh, here let's say start not in in the uh, in the tip it's uh, better to start somewhere in here this stitch is really long 
okay so like I said before we will be again uh, doing and this is this one we will be doing loosely so we will start with a slip stitch and make this one tight and then I don't know if we can make it tight huh <laughs> and then make one more here so just to know where we are and we will go right here we need to make it look good over here so we will make one nice stitch here and now you see this stitch is really long I don't like it and we will we will have to go this way and this way we're going against the grid over here so let me show you how to do that against the grid uh, before this stitch was overlapping the next stitch but now it's the opposite direction so you have to pick up the second stitch and then go into the first stitch and then go in the first stitch this one is going to be a little bit okay oh first second stitch and first stitch this way and this way good and let's let's crochet over this ends and so we don't have to do it again okay and you see because if we would go into in here it would have big holes there that's why I go in between those so I would do it this way hold it kind of facing you toward you and then you can go here and then here okay and then make your stitch and then turn your crochet again this way then you go here and there and make a single crochet stitch okay and again look 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 how um, look how I'm trying to do it you know this is in in the way probably here and back good oops no I s it didn't go in there Oh, I know. Maybe if we go do it like this. Oops, and oops. Okay, and I'm there. Good. And another one. One and that one. Don't forget to grab it. There. You have to have both in there, okay? This is going to be pain uh, to do it and the stitch not too long not too short so you have to basically battle a couple things in here the overlapping here and okay perfect now this is good and now this stitch not too long and not too short okay and push push this together so you can get in there here and now my yarn is in the way here no there okay do you know what I mean we need to get in here oh and hold it and then into the first one oh that's gonna be the best okay look at this okay so we will hold this and one hold this and then go into the first one and you have both of them in there and one more time the second one and back to the first one I found a technique how to do it and I hope this helps 
but whichever way you can do it just make sure you have both of these because otherwise you would have big hole if you would go and make it very easy on yourself in here and then in here you see how big holes there are but if you go in between those two when you grab both of these you don't have a big hole it's so much nicer you can see it let me show you look you see what how big hole you have in you would have in here I don't like that okay does that help that you know does that help does it make any sense over here okay uh, I battled all the way to the end over here and it looks pretty good you see it's nice and even not too stretchy and not too loose looks kind of even right and I have still one more last stitch over here okay now that I am in the corner I need to make decision um, exactly where I want um, the, those four stitches four single crochet stitches because this is still uh, a part of the side and then here this is the part of the uh, of the bottom here so somewhere in here you have to make decision where you really want it is your corner okay and I will make my four um, single crochet stitch uh, corner right in here okay that's what I decided where I want it so I will do one single crochet stitch second I make one chain this is where we will go and do second row for uh, single crochet stitches okay uh, and then we will do one and two more in there okay and you see we have nice corner here and this is where like I said when I will be making my second row this is where I will put my uh, two, uh, four single crochet stitches in there okay just to let you know and now when you look at this um, edge you have to make decision where you will go and make single crochet stitches and if you look closely you have little little uh, ovals over here or, or oval like a little um, bumpy like a little bump and that is going to be every single crochet stitch so into every one of these you will make a single crochet stitch and because this side is tighter make sure that the also you go a little bit tighter on this side okay don't make it too loose I went a little looser on this side right here uh, but not as loose as the side is and over here you have to make it more tight because it's not loose in here okay and we will later on we will you see I go into every that little bumpy area I make a single crochet stitch let me show it to you a little closer so I go there and I make a single crochet stitch you see and here is another one I go in there and I make single crochet stitch okay and when I'm finished with this I will start again with my loose side and this side is loose so I will go again uh, make it uh, not so tight because this side would be so tight you cannot do it uh, you want this, those single crochet stitches around this side little tighter but not too tight okay you will want them just like these
these are I know that I am kind of detailed very very detailed when I am uh, explaining something but it's just um, those are like my thoughts how my thoughts are going in my head when I am making something and I hope you don't mind it okay so I finished my row um, you know this was the uh, regular width when we were going up and down and then this is the side uh, this is the row Th these were the row stitches the stretched out uh, edge and I did that and this was my second corner look how beautiful and then I went around along the bottom again here uh, looking pretty when you're doing it make sure that you go and do it into every single uh, stitch that you don't go below or too high because then it will look really horrible and I am finished and I'm going to start crocheting my second row so I will make one uh, a chain stitch and then now I will go and start crocheting every single uh, uh, single crochet uh, stitch into each single crochet stitch okay and uh, and I will show you how it all looks when it's all done So don't forget on the on the row sides on those stretchy sides make them tiny bit looser because you don't want it to be gathered you don't want it to be tight looking okay you only have to be tighter over here along the bottom uh, of the panel where you were you know on the stitch side okay so let's continue and then I will show you how it all looks like. I think I'm gonna love it. Love it. So I, I'm crocheting second row and I have gotten into my corner over here and uh, I see this. This is my corner right here. So this is where I will I see it as my tip so that's where I will make my um, uh, uh, three single crochet stitches in same place okay so let's continue with these single crochet stitches right in here one and two and now over here we will make three single crochet stitches in the corner so this is one, two, and three, and one more. And now we will continue crocheting all around again until the next corner. So again into each single crochet stitch from previous row one single crochet stitch in the next row okay and uh, and look how it looks really nice so I will do the same thing over here on this other corner okay and then when I am finished I will connect it into my uh, chain and that will be it then I will um, then I will just uh, weave in all my uh, ends and our um, our poncho will be finished and if you want instead of doing second row you could also add tassels I will not be adding tassels I decided not to do that I just will leave it this way this yarn is not suitable for tassels this is a wonderful yarn but I don't think I would like it uh, I would like to make tassels with this yarn okay that's why I am crocheting all around instead of decorating it with tassels
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, this is it. This is the end of knitting our poncho from two panels and crocheting all around. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Perhaps you will make one. If you do, share your images. I'll be very, very happy. And also, um, don't forget to share my videos. I really appreciate that. And uh, again, thank you. Subscribe. And I will see you later.